the investing rule of thumb is basically the older you get, the more conservative your investment strategy should be. So that by the time you retire, well, that you've done everything you can to protect your growth that's been building up over the years from the kind of wild market rides like we've seen recently. Let's talk with Christine Ben. She's the director of personal finance at Morningstar. How do you determine what that right balance is between being too conservative and too risky? It's a fine balance to be sure. I think it, it depends on your time horizon though. Think about how long you're likely to be retired and for many people that's 25 or 30 years. And that means that they probably want to have at least half of their portfolio in stocks. That much in stocks. A lot of people err on the side of caution there but say much less in stocks. They do and you can get away with that if you have an awful lot of wealth. You can take comfort and peace of mind and have that very conservative portfolio. For most people, they want to at least out earn the inflation rate. To do that, given how low cash yields are and bond yields are today, you do need to edge out on the risk spectrum. You do need to own stocks. Stay ahead of the inflation rate, certainly. Yes. What is this bucket approach you talk about? Well, it's a, an approach that was originated by a financial planner, Harold Ovensky. The basic idea is that you have this long-term portfolio, it's bonds and stocks, and then you also have alongside of it a cash piece of the portfolio. It's maybe going to cover one to two years worth of living expenses in retirement. That's your bucket number one. The idea is that that long-term piece of the portfolio can gyrate around, it'll do what it's going to do, but you'll know that you'll have your near-term cash needs set aside. For somebody approaching or into retirement, is there a rule of thumb in terms of asset allocation? Well, I think you want to think about your time horizon. Also think about how much of your income needs are being met through certain sources of income. So Social Security, pensions for those lucky enough to have them. Total those income sources up. See how far they're getting you in terms of your cash flow needs. And then if it turns out that you're just sipping from that portfolio, you could arguably have more in stocks because you really don't need the money. You don't need to batten down the hatches. Those who are drawing from their portfolios more aggressively on an ongoing basis will absolutely need to have more in cash, more in bonds, perhaps less in stocks. Very sensible. Christine Benz from Morningstar. Thanks so much. Thanks, Bill.